sorry or not? Yeah. Oh, yes, honey. I'm so sorry. No, you're not. Your mother. Forgive me, darling. Forgive me. Please. Oh, me. Lena! Forget you. You know, I really can't blame Erica for letting her looks be so important. You know, when you look at the rest of her life, what she got? Erica, you should have called me. Oh, well, I couldn't. By the way, Chuck's coming over later. Oh. Are you here again? <laughs> Erica? Yes, Erica, but not for long. I'm, uh... Almost leaving. Are you going out again? Oh, well, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see how we feel. Now that she has that car, I never know where she is. Sometimes she goes four or five places in one evening. Well, you got to go where the action is, Mona. Isn't that right, Arthur? When there is any. I mean, Pine Valley <laughs> isn't exactly the corner of Hollywood and Vine. No. Well, I've been on that corner. It's not all it's cracked up to be. When I'm set on a man... He's going to have success written all over him before our marriage even starts. And when he makes it, I'm going to be just what he bargained for. Erica, why don't you get off your high horse and come down here with the rest of us? I don't want to be down anywhere with, with the rest of you. I want to be special, and I'm going to be. What you're going to be is miserable if you keep expecting everybody to fall in line with your ways. Hey, are we having a hamburger or another attack on Erica? Do you have to be the one that everybody likes best to make sure that they like you at all? Yes. Oh, and I had a husband who loved me. Really loved me. What are you doing? Yeah, that's better. You look awful. Yeah. Did you Is that the doorbell? Mm -hmm. What did you do at this hour? I was having the faintest idea. Erica! Doctor, where are you? Doctor, please! Erica! Erica! to me. 
He told me all along you wanted to have a baby. And all the time these were stuck in the back of your drawer. I was going to go off. I really was. No. No, it's too late. Because I don't care if you choke on these pills. Don't say that. I told you after your disco deceit that if you lied to me one more time, that that would be the end of our marriage. But I didn't lie to you. You lied to me every time you took one of those pills. embarrassing. What is? Somebody really should tell you. Tell me what? You're getting hard of hearing. Well, I guess you're right. I I have been foolish. You just need a little hearing aid. You know, one that you just put behind your ear. Yes, I know. Okay, you want me to get My advisor at school says that I'm really talented and I should major in drama. You? Talented? Uh-huh. And she also says that I'm beautiful. Beautiful? <laughs> oh, you're, you're not even blonde. Well, I could dye my hair like you. You're not worth the expense. I know this woman. I'm thinking of taking her out of school. Because I know this woman. Uh, her name is Phoebe Tyler. She's very, very rich. And she needs the laundry. It's a perfect job. job for a plain Jane like you. This is preposterous. What's wrong? Well, this is ridiculous, Erica. I mean, none of this stuff is in, in your book, and it certainly doesn't belong on any screen. Well, I think it's right on target. I wrote it myself. You what? Yes, I did. It's a scene from the screenplay. I rewrote it to make it more realistic. Well, there's nothing real about it. Well, that's just because you're not a good actress. But once somebody good is doing the lines, then it's going to be wonderful. I warn you, Erica. If any of this appears on the screen, I'll sue you. Mother Judith Anderson is considering playing the part. Of course, you'll have to wear a blonde wig. You know, I suggest that you stick to acting and stop trying to rewrite history. Well, Mother, can't see yourself as she really is. I hope you didn't risk your life unnecessarily. Well, Mother, I had to take chances. I was the only one who had the gumption to try to escape. And the dumbest thing that she did was run into the jungle without any survival equipment whatsoever. I even fought off a rape attempt, Mother, rape. But I never crashed under the strain. And in the final crank, she froze. I'm there. One of the hijackers was trying to kill me. I had to yell to her to pick I something finally up and find out that Brooke would have offered her body to save herself. I really saw Brooke's true character, Mother. She is a cowardly little spineless little cow. It's a miracle that Erica came out of this with her life. I tell you, I wanted to strangle her. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. 